Hey everyone, welcome to our latest TDR Psychedelic Exclusive. Got to jump on a podcast here today because some hot news came out regarding the space and it involves maps. And I think a lot of people that have been following this space understand what was announced. So what does it mean? Well, let's bring in Peyton Nyquist, CEO of Numinous, which trades under the uh, TSX under the ticker symbol N-U-M-I. We finally got the uh, NDA submission to the FDA. Uh, how big is this news, I think, for not only maps, but for the industry. A lot of people have been waiting this for quite some time. You know, I, I think we were just talking about this, but I think it's it's the biggest kind of catalyst that we've seen in the space yet. And I and I say that in the context of, you know, there's there's a number of catalysts that will continue to yep. supersede sort of the next one. Obviously, you know, the results that were the second phase three results were were huge. Um, but this is you know, the first time you've seen a psychedelic drug get submitted to the FDA. And I mean, it's, it's huge. Uh, it, it, it's, it's significant in a number of different ways. One is obviously to go through the clinical trial pathway and produce the results that they did and then be able to take that to the FDA is huge. Um, the fact that, you know, it's, it's a, a, a schedule one psychedelic drug that's getting submitted to the FDA is really huge. Um, but I think it also, you know, there's now this kind of carved path um, that other psychedelic drugs are going to be able to follow as well as we, as you know, you look at whether yeah. it's the USONA product, the Compass product, Mind Med, um, that, you know, this, this will really kick open a lot of doors in regards to what we see you know, after MDMA is, is obviously hopefully and inevitably approved. So maybe recap to our audience, just so they understand what exactly was submitted in this NDA and like what potentially could get approved, uh, if the FDA gives all systems go. Yeah. So broken record on this, but the maps formulation and the maps protocol of MDMA for post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. And that's not carte blanche MDMA. It's the MAPS formulation uh, or the, the, that is held within MAPS Public Benefit Corporation. And timeline wise, this would, based on the press release, take six months. And then after that, there's a 90 day review, correct? Correct. Correct. You know, the, obviously, you know, anytime you're at the mercy of regulators, you, you never know. But, no, I get it. you know, we've seen nothing. You've seen nothing but positive support for this so far. You know, you've seen breakthrough therapy status been granted. You know, the, there's been a lot of, of signaling showing that this is something that is looking to, you know, be be well received and supported. Will the FDA, you think, approve? this uh submission and your thoughts i mean you know the immediate answer is is yes um you know and, and if you look at again breakthrough therapy status you look at the results you look at you know it's it's even been mentioned by president biden the the you know wanting to uh legalize mdma and psilocybin assisted therapy um you think about like this sort of cultural um you know Um, as well as, you know, we, we know we're at a time of real need. And I think where MAPS has been obviously very strategic is, you know, the work with PTSD and veterans um, and yeah. going into also an election year. You know, we've heard a lot about different drug rescheduling and stuff like that. So I think I think the timing is 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 very much in their favor. And I think MAPS yeah. has done they've done absolutely everything that someone could to get something like this approved. Very, very good um, step in the right direction for many veterans as well. I actually learned last week in a podcast, there's over 40,000 nonprofit or military nonprofit organizations in the U S so mm -hmm. that conversation isn't happening anytime soon. Right. That's, you know, like the, yeah, without, without, without pointing too much, like I, I think, not just the amount of obviously support for access to therapy, but when we think about, you know, uh, compensation, when we think about different financial opportunities, whether it's insurance reimbursement or, or other organizations, I, I think a lot of the time people point directly to insurance and say, if it's not covered under insurance, then it's going to be a really tough road. And certainly insurance is going to be a very important part of that. But 
there's so many organizations out there that that put together different financial options for particularly for interventions like this that I think will be lining up. Yeah. Well, I think the next steps that we want to hear, obviously, from MAPS is like there's been lots of talk about the Series A financing, what that's going to be and what that looks like. So uh, I would assume, obviously, now we're at what, you know, mid-December. That probably won't happen until the new year. I could be wrong, but we will see how that unfolds. But in a lot of ways, when we look at this announcement today and the working raw partnership that you have with MAPS, how does this in some ways, I guess, benefit your company? Well, look, I, you know, I, I think we, I think today, like literally today, um, signals that now is the time to get trained. Now is the time to start getting your practice organized. Like for us, it's, it's, it's huge for us. Um, and it's really the kind of moment that we've been looking as we've built Numinous over the last five years or so. This is what we built it for, you know, the anchoring it in traditional mental health care has always been extremely important. And yeah. so that when treatment like these are available, there's a sustainable platform that they can integrate into. And I think as we look to the new year, you know, as I said, practitioner training, preparation of sites, but also, you know, really, I think what is going to probably be the priority for MAPS kind of first year post approval is how do you really, really ensure outcomes and and quality of care for clients in the early going? And obviously- How you know, do you do that? Do you have any idea? I think, you know, there's there's organizations like ours who are very familiar with, with the protocol, very familiar with the compound, whether it's through research, but also through the special access program. Um, yeah. And I think things like supervision and and those first sites, you know, really being able to- to lean in and, and support guaranteeing that quality early will be, I think, probably priority number one for MAPS uh, before, you know, we know the size of, you know, the problem and, and it's not something that's going to, you, you can't just flick a switch and think that that's all going to, you know, be greatly impacted day one. But if we can really, really ensure the outcomes and really prioritize you know, the, the best possible outcomes for the people who are going through this treatment, then the scale side of it will sort of continue to, to figure itself out. But we've got to ensure the quality of outcomes first and foremost. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see them get this done before the holiday season. You can start obviously, you know, not walk, but start running heading into 2024. Yep. Um, but there's going to be a lot on the go. Obviously, the submission of the NDA, six months you're basically looking at, do you get approval? Series A, has there been interest? How much money will be raised? Do they go public? Like there's a lot of moving parts that could happen in a short window of time, but mm -hmm. more importantly, rise all ships. And I think this is what the industry needs because I know you've been taking a lot of heat over the last few months, but there's some things you can control and other things you can't, right? Yep. Yep. A couple of months of heat is fine. <laughs> we're we're in here we weren't here for that so yeah i hear you listen i i appreciate you taking the time this is just a quick podcast we want to get an update i know you're battling covid right now so get some rest get healthy <laughs> yeah, thank and you. uh we will uh check back in with you uh hopefully uh let's say if not before the holidays and happy holidays to you and the family thank and you. uh you we'll see you come january okay appreciate it thanks so much all right thanks Peyton. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We appreciate all your feedback. So if you wanna leave some comments, let us know what you think and what you wanna learn of. Subscribe to our channel by clicking here. If you wanna see more videos like this, then click here, because at the end of the day, we would not be here without you. Thanks for watching everyone.